my name is Alexis Devine, and this is my dog, Bunny the Conversationalist. Yesterday, Bunny went to play tango. Bunny want to play tango today? Yes. Okay. She's a one and a half year old Shiba Doodle. We are currently using buttons to communicate. They're right back here as part of a study through the Comparative Cognition Lab at uh, UCSD. So when we first brought Bunny home, I had an outside button waiting by the door for her with uh, sort of no expectations of how far we'd get with this journey. Within a few weeks of modeling it, she was using it consistently herself to uh, request to go outside. And at that point in time, we added it to a larger board. And about six months into our journey, we came into contact with Leo Trottier and switched to his device, which is grouped based on the Fitzgerald key, which helps her to compartmentalize words. <laughs> Love you too. So we'll usually have between two and three doggy play dates a day as per her requests. She also really likes the walk button for obvious reasons. So one of my favorite parts about working with Bunny is just building the trust that we have and you know building trust takes a really long time you know you have to go through some challenging moments in order to learn about the other person or the other animal that they deserve your trust mad. why are you mad why mad so that particular interaction took place over about 15 minutes the first part of the interaction she says mad and i say why are you mad and she says ouch so I was a little bit skeptical when I responded, like, where is your ouch? Five minutes later, she walked back over to the board and she pressed stranger. And I said, where's the stranger? And she said, paw. Walked up to me and placed her left paw in my hand. And I felt between her toes um, because she had recently said, ouch, just in case. And I found a foxtail sort of embedded in a mat that was between one of her toes. And she's always exploring new combinations of words and trying different ways to get her message across if I, as a human, am not um, understanding what she's trying to say, which is really fascinating to me. Scritches go. Do you want scritches here? Go scritches. Go scritches. Our TikTok okay. journey has been pretty wild. Uh, we started an account at the very beginning of June uh, in 2020 and had you know, within a couple of months, I think like 4 million followers. It was very, very unexpected. But what I want to share are the things that really make me say, wow, this is incredible. We get so much wonderful feedback from people saying that we've opened their eyes to uh, animal sentience and to how communicative our dogs are with and without the button. feel extraordinarily close with Bunny, closer and closer every day. The more I learn about her, the more challenges we face and then overcome together, the stronger our relationship becomes. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, thank you. If we were able to teach dogs how to communicate when and where they were in pain, that could be revolutionary. I think it has the potential to just really, really, really deepen relationships. Mm -hmm.